now let's see an example here uh, a plus b into c plus d this is the function uh, we have to implement let's say this is your f uh, you did some some uh, truth table hag and uh, kmap gave you this expression and you have to implement using nmos pmos as well as cmos so first i am showing you the nmos implementation how it will look and uh, here you have to follow one rule that is plus means parallel connection dot means series connection okay so that is the rule uh, always you have to follow in case of nmos and in pmos it will be reverse but i'll tell you later on so here you can see i have made the active load as it is you can see this is made of nmos vdd ground is there but below y you can see i have made this arrangement a plus b means a parallel with b a parallel with b right then you have dot means series and then you have c plus d means c plus d means c parallel with d c parallel with d so that's how you have to make and on the top you have just have to make the active load that's all and what you will get at the output is a plus b dot c plus d bar but you want without bar right so you can use a inverter take this and uh, not like this uh, make a, a inverter so this will be vdd right so will be connected like this let me make it by blue okay because it takes less space so i make the active load here connected together and this is vdd this is vdd and from here you have another nmos connected to ground and here you will get a plus b dot c plus d right and this input will be given like this so this is an inverter made from nmos this is the uh, a plus b bar, uh, dot c plus d bar made from nmos so you can see purely you have used nmos for the construction of this function now same thing i'll tell you in uh, pmos how you will implement just we'll follow um, plus means series and dot means parallel there okay so this is the nmos implementation now let me show you pmos implementation now here you can see the pmos implementation of the same function what i've done here is active load is as it is now here you have minus vdd here you have ground now dot is treated as parallel and plus is treated as series for pmos okay that will make your pmos implementation so a plus b means a series with b a series with b you can see pmos are there then you have dot dot means parallel so parallel connection you can see then c plus d means c parallel series with d c series with d so at y you will get a plus b dot c plus d whole bar and again you can connect this guy to an inverter like this so we ground another like this this will be connected to minus vdd like this and from here you have y right so this will give you what a plus b c plus d right if you find it confusing then uh, you only remember the nmos thing nmos relation and you do the reverse uh, when you are doing it for pmos i do this in in a way uh, plus means like uh, and for nmos i remember right nmos i remember that uh, plus means that plus is there no plus this this means parallel <laughs> parallel this is a childish way to do it and dot means the series this is what i remember and plus means parallel means with this line i remember <laughs> okay parallel and series this are only i remember and uh, when i make for pmos i do the reverse of it okay so that's how you can also remember now you have used only pmos for construction of this this logic function now same thing we will do with cmos but we will be utilizing both uh, pmos as well as cmos so in below y you will have nmos structure above y you will have pmos structure okay
okay so here you can see the cmos implementation of this uh, so only i have made the nmos part pmos part i want to show you why i've done it because i remember only nmos plus means parallel dot means series so that's what i've done a plus b means a parallel with b dot dot means parallel this guy is uh, sorry not parallel series so a plus b is parallel then this whole set is series to c plus d right c parallel with d so that is nmos version now i have to make the pmos side so what i have to do whatever is in series you have to do in parallel and whatever is in parallel you have to do it in series so these guys are in parallel so let me make series so pmos is like this right arrow will be here because we are making cmos version so a right and then similarly you have uh, let me make b first to avoid conversion fusion here you have b right a dot b right a plus b is there so this becomes a dot right here so you can see it is parallel like uh, like series uh, is converted into uh, yeah, sorry parallel is converted into series here also you convert c this is connected like this and you have here d right d and this whole thing is connected to vdd right so this is how you are getting the uh, pmos side so i have only taken the this this two guys were parallel so it became series these two guys were parallel so it became series and they are connected in series fashion so they become parallel whole set is become parallel so why here what you are getting you are not getting a plus b c plus d you are getting a plus b dot c plus d bar okay this is what you are getting so you need an inverter which inverter cmos inverter to get your f function so i'll take this guy and i'll make a cmos inverter so this you have remember this line in in pmos uh, and nmos you have this line here uh, but um, uh, in 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 uh, cmos we are having this line in top so you have like this this is your inverter like this okay so this is how you make in cmos version so hopefully you have got the feel how you you have to implement a function a particular function in uh, nmos pmos as well as in cmos so this is you have to remember oh, always remember this this inversion will be there right or sometimes you forget uh, making this so that's why you have to keep in mind also you have to keep in mind that in cmos you have this line arrow in top uh, whereas in pmos implementation you have in down right and the third thing series means uh, uh, like uh, see uh, dot means series and plus means parallel in nmos that's all you have to remember um, and uh, looking at that you make the pmos version and all everything so this is it uh, let me uh, deal with the power situation in cmos static power and dynamic power that is what uh, we'll be dealing now